Hey everyone, it's Jennifer. Welcome to another two minute training from your favorite speech therapist. Today, we are talking about aspiration. Aspiration is a condition in which food, liquid, saliva, or vomit is breathed into the airway, essentially the wrong pipe. You can usually tell a person is aspirating if they cough or choke, clear their throat often, sneeze right after they swallow, or have trouble breathing, either while they're eating or shortly after. But what exactly happens when you aspirate? Well, let me show you. I'll show you using this model here. Now, when we normally swallow, we want the food to go into the mouth, chewed up, and then the tongue pr propels it to the back of the throat. We want the food to go down this, this path, through the pharynx, down into this little area right here, because this is the area that leads to the esophagus, which then empties the food into the stomach. Now, what happens when we aspirate or when food gets into the lungs is that the food falls here over the back of the tongue. This little part here is called the epiglottis. It may not fold down quite as well as it should, but what happens is the food seeps here this direction, and it comes here where this little indentation is, which is the vocal folds. So the food then passes through the vocal folds down this tube, which leads to the lungs, and that is where we do not want stuff going. Remember that aspiration can potentially lead to aspiration pneumonia, which is an infection in one or both of the lungs. But thankfully, for pneumonia to develop, other factors must also be taken into account, such as oral hygiene, medications, frailty, and even weakened immune systems. That's why brushing your teeth and staying healthy is so very important. For some people, following safe swallow precautions can improve their safety while they eat and drink, which will help reduce the chance of aspirating. But for others, a change in food or liquid consistency may be needed. And that's a wrap. See you for the next training.